Well, I'm Dave Johnson, and I would like to welcome all of you guys uh, to be on the call, and thanks for joining me, uh, team. And we're going to talk a little bit about Orlando, and it's really exciting that we have Susan Carver, who is a wonderful lady, and she lives in the Orlando area, and, and she's heading that up, and so we'll let her talk about that. But one of the things I, I would just like to talk about, uh, the, the idea of events, and I, I love this thought that uh, so much of, of building a team and being successful in this business is all about uh, getting people to events, day-to-day uh, -day having something to work toward, to build excitement and create this expectancy, and then have a have a, a goal to run towards, and, and that is basically the anticipation of, of being able to bring people to something. And uh, uh, a phrase that we've all heard again and again, and it's true, is that big decisions are made at big events. And so much of our life is basically based on the decisions we made. And, and coming to the event is a good decision, and by going there, uh, you will get the magic, and when you come home, your eyes will be sparkly and shiny, and you will be able to impart the vision. Uh, leadership, uh, that's influence, uh, nothing more, nothing less is what uh, John Maxwell says, that uh, uh, so much of everything uh, rises or falls on leadership. But one of my favorite statements is the idea that leadership is your enthusiastic communication of your vision. And we have an amazing vision in Nikan, especially at this moment. And uh, I think especially at uh, this coming event, uh, we're going to have new vision. And uh, Susan, tell, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your, your vision of having our new vision. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, everyone. It's uh, great to see the faces that I've loved and respected here on the call. This is, uh, this is fun. Uh, I love the fact that it's being held in Orlando. If some of you wonder why we keep doing it in Orlando, it's not because I'm paying someone under the table. It's because airline tickets are notoriously reasonable to come to Orlando because it's such a hub for so many airlines um, and so much competition in the market. Rental cars are like $21 a day. Uh, when I went out to see Julie, I paid like $49 for something that was a step up from a roller skate per day. So the cost can be very attractive and many choices on flights. And the event itself uh, gives us a very affordable rate as far as the hotel room which keeps everything as far as the, the meeting space down. And so it's kind of across the board. It's not because I'm, I'm buying Dave Johnson off. It's just the fact that it, it's uh, warm here. So there's many attractive things to parts of the country that are, that are not as financially and weather attractive as, as this particular location. So that is, is uh, one reason why we're doing it here. Um, the other thing that's gonna be different about this particular event, even though it's the same location, is the fact that since the company's made a shift uh, to more retail and more product focus, which Julie and all of us are on this call are very excited about, um, I don't see a face that I'm looking at that's not diehard about these products. And sometimes the message has been uh, products business or business, and then the products have been, hey, I'm back here. So we're really going to be uh, bringing them up to where they deserve which is the, the, front, the, the forefront of what we're doing. Um, always gonna be in network marketing, always gonna love uh, finding business builders, but really showcasing the products and giving them the attention and the love that they deserve. And um, so the, I'm, I'm going to consult and get with Mr. Foley about how far we can take the product training. Um, I, I, you know, the greatest freedom we've always heard is to know where your boundaries are. So I just kind of want to know where the boundaries are because I don't want to have any of us get up there and do our, our product section and then, you know, kind of get one of these or something. So I want to find out where the boundaries are so we can take it right to the edge and, and still uh, make Nick and corporate happy but still do effective jobs. So that'll be an interesting balance to do that. But I want people to come away with really knowing the product training. I did a conference call uh, last night with my team in Columbia, and one of the ladies like, was asking me, well, what product do we use for this, and what is this? And that just tells me that someone in the upline has not done their job. Well, when you have hundreds and on the call, we have people with thousands of people, you can't really shake the finger at someone. If it's a silver with 15 people in the group, why aren't they product trained? Then you can shake your finger. But 
when, when all of us have that opportunity where we have some people coming to the event we don't even know that are in our group. So if we can take them into a breakout session and have them really come away with an understanding of what the products do, how long, lots of questions. And so people go, you know what? I came out of that convention and I have, because all of us still learn on this call, new things. Oh, I didn't know it was good for this, or I didn't know it was good. There's always going to be that space for, for more learning, but I want people to come away with about 80 to 85% of stone cold knowing what product goes where, why we use it, and how long we use it. So I've got to find out those particular parameters. So that's the, really the big change that I think you'll feel during this particular conference and, and the content is going to be back making the, the product, the star, and putting the light on it, but still bringing in the, the business, um, different ways of doing the business, but the, the product is really going to be in the forefront of what we're doing. Uh, but it's still a business conference. People are not just coming to, you know, hugs and kisses and things like that. It's still, you know, something that will have the compassion and everything, but it'll also that there's a sound business with this star of the products. There's a very sound business that goes with it. Wow, that's very good. Hey, Julie Tara, what say you? Hey, well, that, that, was, that was just thrilling to hear you, you speak about that, you know, Susan, because, <clears throat> I mean, for, for me in 21 years, it's, it's the products that are the star, and, and, you know, you can't really go too wrong with anybody so long as you can show them and teach them about that. It's, it's what makes everything really happen, and our business thrives when volume thrives. And when people are growing, going senior executive silver. And so I'm loving the change with the newer price points, the lower price points. I'm loving it. And I'm, I'm just loving that there's more focus back on the products because it's just my passion is spending, you know, 38 years now in natural health care and energy medicine. That's been my life. So that's always been for me the propelling thing. I love, though, building a team. I love having customers and I love building a team. And so going to Orlando, I think is really important to be with the people, to, to glean from them the knowledge they have, but also the energy. There's this thing called entrainment, where when you're with people that are more successful than you are, you entrain to their way of thinking, you entrain to their way of being. And I know like when I'm with Dave Johnson, I, I, I watch him and I learn from him all the time how he is with people, how he speaks about things, how he treats people, and I'm constantly learning, and we all do. So I think that it's like coming into the community, coming into the culture of Nikan, coming in to be with your tribe, whether, whether you have a huge downline to bring or whether you have just a few people or even if it's just yourself, then it, you're going to learn a lot by being with the people. And so I think to me that's one of the greatest gifts along with the cerebral knowledge. It's this emotional entrainment and understanding that happens. Um, I also think it's a really wonderful thing to set a goal for an, an event. Um, and I know th through my whole career with Nikan, I've always had the idea of setting goals for the events. Uh, you know, whether you're a sovereign, it's time to go gold. You know, get it done and be there as a brand new gold at the, at the Orlando event. And it's funny, when you have a goal like that and you start programming your mind to see yourself on stage being celebrated at a new level, it's very, very powerful what can happen. Magic can happen in your business because of that, because you set yourself a definite date and you say, by hook or by crook, I'm gonna be there as a brand new gold or silver or platinum or whatever your, le your next step is. So, you know, that's, uh, that's what I've used it for also, along with learning from everyone else, is, is to be there um, in that capacity with having won something different, something new, a new contest or whatever. And it helps me to focus a lot, and it will help you to focus a lot over these next few weeks to make every single day count towards that con committed vision of you being up there on the stage uh, as a success story. So, you know, these events are, um, I, I don't think I've ever missed one. I, I think in 21 years I missed one event because I wasn't well. But every other event I've been to because of the importance of it for myself, for my own psyche, for my learning, but also for my team, being with my team, and same for you with your people. 
Um, and also, don't be afraid to ask others to come with you at the last minute even. Very often, people will make a big decision at the last minute. You may have a new customer or a new consultant, you know, at the beginning of April. Don't be shy to ask them to come with you for this event because you, you'd be surprised how many people, once they grab this and they get it and the light goes on, they're like, yeah, I'll be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. And you'll be so happy that you did. And you'll be so happy to be there with with your new people. That's a very exciting thing. And, and you feel like a sort of mother hen with your chicks, like, here we go, here we go. And it's very exciting. And you know, and you feel good about yourself that you're sharing the message, you're sharing the blessing of Niken. And that's what it's all about, is sharing a blessing and being a blessing. Um, so that's what I have to say about it. Don't miss it. You will love it. And you will regret it if you don't go, because you're going to hear some really amazing things. There. Oh, thank you, Julie. <clears throat> you know, some, some of my favorite ahas was just being with you. You've got the magic. And I remember you were good enough to come to our time, town uh, a couple of years ago. And, and I just thought, wow, what a golden moment. And so we went and did a few one-on-ones. And I, I, I saw people just transform just because of your your excitement, enthusiasm, and you let them up. And, I, uh, you know, if you if you come, you'll meet people like Julie and... It, it rubs off. Uh, it, it, it is something that's contagious. Uh, another thing I would recommend you do, get on Amazon or go to Best Buy or someplace and, and get one of those new little digital recorders. They're about the size of a pack of gum. And uh, $30, $50, take that to the event with you. Ask people questions and uh, record uh, talks and listen to it again and again. And uh, you become what you think about. And if you hear something again and again, you can learn. And uh, if you are around successful people and, and learn what they say and do and, and do the same thing, you become successful. It's, it's such a, a powerful thought right there. Julie, uh, thanks for being you and uh, excited to spend some time with you in Orlando. Hey, Bernadette, uh, uh, you're an amazing lady, uh, just a, a good example of, of what to do. You're, you're always in, engaged, seeing good people. Uh, uh, have you received any benefit by bringing people to big events? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's, it would take too, 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 too much time to say all the benefits. But you know, a few things that myself I've done over the years, every time I go to a conference, um, and, and I still do it to this day, is I always look at what are the things that I want to learn to do better that would make me more effective, whether it's in my personal activity, as a leader, whatever responsibility I'm talking about. So usually what I do, a little thing that I do is, before I go to the conference, I do like a call. I put that on my little notepad, the 10 questions that I want to get an answer to. That when I come back home, I will, and I will go and ask those questions to other leaders and say, what do you do for that? What do you do for that? So when I come back, I will apply what, I'm lear what I've learned from them. That's one way, that, so that's one thing that I've always done for myself. And, I, and a promise I make to myself is I never go back home until I get the answer to all the questions that I, that I came to get. So that's one thing. And now the benefit you know, of those kind of events is really to network, is to collect. You know, I really believe that one of the things about Niken, it's about becoming the best storyteller. Uh, it's all about re reporting the, the product success stories, the business success stories. So those kind of events is, my gosh, it's, 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 we have, you know, an, an, a, a, a gold mine <laughs> of stories. And one of the things is to collect those stories and, col and also network with other people, collecting the business comp, what is the result? So then we can leverage each other. That is another thing. So, you know, there's all the learning in the breakout session, in the general session, which is phenomenal. But then there's everything that happens outside in the hall. You know, all those precious discussion, those precious connections that are just as important, frankly. And knowing each other much more at a human level also is very powerful because then we realize is the people on stage, they're just like us, <laughs> you know, they're just like us. They all have the challenge that I have myself and oh my gosh, I, they can, they did it. I can do this. It's all about relating to each other. And that is a very powerful way of doing it. 
um, because then we, there's no reason why, you know, an 18 year old or a 65 year old, no matter male, female, whatever profile, can su cannot succeed in this business. There isn't. It's just the, the want, the will to be, to share the, the goodness and the love of what we have with other people and, and, and support each other. So I can go on and on, Dave. There's a lot of benefit to it, but I think these are some of the tips that I want to, to share is you know what always think is what are the things because there's so sometimes there's so much to learn and so much we receive in those conventions that we come back and we may feel a bit overwhelmed what do i do with that all of that now and we want to do so it's just is what will when i come back from the convention like this is what are the two to five things that i will apply right now as soon as i get back home that's going to make me more effective and once I've done that and mastered that, then I'm going to apply the other two or, th or five things and doing it that way, because then it, we feel it builds confidence, it builds, you know, uh, self-esteem and all of that. And, and, and it shows that anybody can do it. So that, that's really powerful. One of the things I've often said with a, a brand new, <clears throat> excuse me, prospect is I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him about uh, how, how would you like to go to Orlando, have a lot of fun, be entertained, inspired. Uh, be with some really neat people and uh, write it all off. And uh, di and just talk talking about the idea that perhaps the best way to investigate this opportunity would be to come to this event and that's due diligence and uh, it's all tax deductible even if you go home and decide not to. But I, I know most people when they go, that, that's what it's all about is they decide, oh my goodness, uh, I, I got to do this and, and come home prepared and ready and, and on fire. So. Just, uh, I, I love what Eric Worre talks about, all of the different steps to be successful. And he said the highest paid activity uh, that you can have is getting people to, to big events and everything kind of leads towards that. Uh, uh, we've got Rick Murphy on and I'd, I'd like to turn the time over to him and you can kind of just lay this out. Rick Murphy has uh, been uh, probably the guy when you think about uh, uh, staging events. Uh, he's uh, landed uh, an amazing venue that uh, I think is just going to be historical in, in the new Nikan, uh, that that's going to be in October. But the best way to take the most advantage of October is to get people to Orlando and have this one-two punch, and that will make it all the more powerful. But uh, hey, Rick Murphy, you're awesome, and uh, what nice. do you think about big events? Well, I'm excited about it. I'm so excited. As Susan said, you can rent a lot of vehicles. I've, I've rented a Vespa and I'm going to jump the hotel on a Vespa. So I'm ready to go. <laughs> and then I'm going to do interpretive dance to the new Nikan to fully explain it to you guys. Listen, I like to have a good time. People's jobs are a drag. People are stressed. People are hurting. They're coming to Nikan to have a good time. It needs to be the opposite of their job. And the biggest thing about these events, it's a great big Kinko party to be around cool people, have a good time. You learn some stuff. But the biggest thing you learn at an event is the law of attraction. And to just be around a group of people that you dig and your people sit there with you and say, hey, man, this is the kind of people I want to be around. I can honestly remember very few things. I can remember a few things people have said on stage. I remember Susan or Dave or, or Bernadette or Julie rocked. I can remember the passion. What I really remember is the people sitting next to me walking out going, hey, man, I'm going silver. So the bottom line of the events, you take in a little Nikon uh, caterpillar, and they come to the event, and they leave a majestic butterfly. And that really is what happens at the events is your downline turns into an upline. And it, it, here's the thing. A lot of us in this business have been managers and leaders in other businesses. So we become like a den mother or den father or a manager if you really want to make a lot of money at this, you don't want to be a den mother or a den father or everybody's upline. I don't want to work with a downline or with a downline full of downlines. I want to build a team full of uplines. And the biggest thing that happens in an event, it's when your people transition from being the person I got to call and say, all right, Buford and Esmeralda, are you coming to the meeting on Tuesday? Are, are, do you remember it's at seven from them calling me saying I'm bringing three people on Tuesday? And if I can get any one thing across to you guys at these events, it's if you connect people into them, you're going to have people that transition to where you start to get partners and pals, not people that you're, you're kicking in the rear end to buy a ticket. 
And, and that's the kind of people I want to work with. The longer I've been in this business, I want to surround myself with partners that are telling me what's what. I've already got people calling. I, the Lyle Meeker and Sandy Meeker texted me last night. They got their Orlando tickets already. Their group is booming. I got people already calling me for October, booking flights, booking five blocks that are coming down to Orlando, bringing people. They're coming to Orlando because they want to have a 200 people in October. Well, guess what? You need people there in, 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 in April to feed October. And then October is going to feed the next April down in Orlando. They feed each other. If you want to have 500 people in Orlando next spring, go down there with the Carviero Express and we load up the Florida Hotel and Conference Center and we got people like uh, standing outside the wall watching Babe Ruth hit home runs. That's the kind of event I want. I, 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 want, I don't care if there's a thousand people there. If it's just me and my wife sitting there eyeballing the event, it's a two-person event. And, and, and remember the old saying, if you attend an event by yourself, you're there to learn. And that's great. If you bring people, you're there to earn. So it's, it's not just about buying tickets. My whole philosophy of ticketing events is not to buy for myself. It's I'm going anyway. It's to make sure I have team there. So our job as Uplines is very simple. We're going to provide you with an event framework this year that is absolutely second to none. I'm going to tell you guys something. I've been down to the Florida Hotel and Conference Center, and I've seen some nice events. Nice. Very, very nice. What's going to happen this year is it's going to be like touching that round globe thing with the electricity in it when your hair stands up. That's the difference in the kind of event. We're talking lighting, sound. Um, we've been talking about this stuff with, with, with Susan. This thing is going to be souped up. This is not your grandfather's Oldsmobile anymore. This is, this is new Lando, okay? This is Lando, Orlando Calrissian, all right? This is Tony Orlando and Dawn. This is the mother of all events, all right? That's, what, that's how I view Orlando. Orlando isn't an event. Orlando's the next event, which makes it the event, which makes it the place that I have to go. San Antonio, we're going to be on a stage with 2,500 people in basically Carnegie Hall. It is, it is something that Nikan's never had in all 40 years. It's that big of a deal. And if you're going to maximize that, you've got to hit this next event. I'm not even thinking about that yet beyond what I have to do. The only event is the next event, and this is the next event. So here's the bottom line. You want to get to home base. you got to hit first and second base. Right now, what's staring you in the face is Orlando. That's first base. Get on it. Get people there. Get passionate about it. Drive it. Show up. It's going to be an absolutely mind-blowing, dare I say it, ladies and gentlemen, not just an event, but an extravaganza, all right? That's what it's going to be. It, it, that, that's how I view it. And I, I, I'm not spending money to go to an event so I can sit there and listen to people talk. I'm doing it so it can be a mind-blowing extravaganza to impact my team and feed my family and retire my friends. And that's what these events are there for. So the last thing I'm going to say is this. We have the best event structure that Nikens ever had this year. And I'm going to tell you something else. We got a team of leaders in the field that are getting things done. Guys, the things that we're doing now would not have been possible three months ago because there would have been all sorts of issues trying to get it done. Who's going to control stuff? Who's going to make things happen? What we got now, people, we call each other and we say, hey, here's what we're going to do. We collectively work towards it. It's the greatest. I've been waiting for this for a decade where we can actually create and let things happen. I can call Susan Carver and we can get things done now. We've been knocking this thing out. No problem. It's easy as pie. The biggest things that happen is we're gelling as a field force now. And I will tell you something. What you're going to see in the two major structured events this year is something you have not seen in Nikan. And it's reason enough to drag your bones down to Orlando just to see the product that Nikan's going to unveil. I'm not talking here about a hub clap, cap, hubcap cleaner that makes your teeth whiter than white. I'm talking about something literally that will knock your Aunt Connie's socks off. From what I've been hearing about this product, it might be the best thing we've ever released. And I'll tell you what, if it's the thing that people haven't bought yet, it's already the best thing we've ever had. So that's what I'm excited about. So, so you know, we're not just coming out with dental floss here, far and red floss. There's, some, there's something really significant coming out in April. Jeff Isom's so excited about it. He's like a shook up bottle of pop. <laughs> so I, I, I just got to let you guys know when I come to these calls, I'm not here just to say, well, we'd love to see you in Orlando. We're going to give you a wonderful uh, series of talks on uh, the human body and, and the, the, you know, how we all feel about uh, what we're doing. I'm telling you to come down there and you better wet your hair down because it's going to catch fire. You're going Michael Jackson on a Pepsi commercial <laughs> kind of fire. We're bringing down there in Orlando. I can't wait to do it. 
And, you know, I might not be kidding. I might actually jump a fountain on a Vespa. That's how excited I am about it. And that's what I'm going. So I could talk about this forever because it's my passion. I never work when I do knee can. It never feels hard. You know, I, I, I get on here. I love doing it. I love every one of your faces on this call. I look at you guys. I mean, I do anything for you. And that goes for everybody on this call. Nikan is a company of destiny. It's a special company with a special mandate, with amazing products. It's a real place where we're not selling people boxes of garbage and calling it growth. It's a place where anybody can come in without having to use a credit card to buy a pin with the mystical fill it in and then wait to get checks until later and rely on, on some magical training where you'll make it behind door number five. It's a place where you put a product on somebody and they say, my gosh, my life is better. And you don't have to build it on a credit card. You build it with a full bank account. It's a place you can look people in the eye and say, if you've got a dream, if you've got a desire, doesn't matter if you've got 2000 bucks to buy your pack with your bonus pack. Doesn't matter if you know 20 people from your previous MLM. If you want to win, you can do it here if you've got a heart for people. It is the first home business ever that is rewriting the rules of the home business industry. And we are frankly leaving it behind and becoming the home career. I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm proud of the people that run it. I'm proud of the products we have. I'm proud of the partners that we have. And Orlando and San Antonio are going to showcase that excellence that Nikon brings to the table. So the bottom line is we are going downhill on roller skates. We want you with us because when this is on bumper stickers, billboards, T-shirts, and the Super Bowl in a couple of years, you're going to want to be the guy or the gal saying, I'm glad I was at that event in Orlando, not the person going. I remember that big Dumbo telling me how big it was going to be, and I didn't listen. And that's the bottom line, Dave. Not that I have an opinion, but if I had one, that would be it. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's exciting. What, what little passing thing. Uh, I, I've got a script that works pretty good and just share it with you. Uh, when I have somebody that they're interested in coming to that, I talk about ownership, that this is an event that, that's theirs. And I, and I tell people, I said, I want to just give you a heads up. When you come, you're going to be really glad you came. But I, I just want you to know that if you go by yourself, you're going to be thinking, oh, why, oh, why didn't I tell Mary? Uh, why, why haven't, uh, you know, this other person, if I would have asked them if they were here and, and just kind of talk in those terms about that, uh, they, they need to come, not just themselves, but be bringing people. They are going to be thinking, why didn't I invite? And, and so make, make it your event and uh, not just come, but have faith in what we're saying and bring some people. You'll be glad you did. You will. Can I just in inject one thing? You're going to jump uh, something on a Vespa too? Uh, I own a Vespa, so be careful. Okay? I own a 150, all right? Nice. So I want you to give me a piggyback ride, and I want my arms around you. I want to do the piggyback ride on it. Uh, uh, we can take the picture. Uh, just one last point here that's maybe obvious to everyone, but if you're fairly new in this business, and again, well, do I go? It's an investment. It's not an expense. And it's a tax deduction, as, as Dave talked about. But where do you think I met Julie Tarr? Where do you think I met Dave Johnson? Where do you think I met Bernadette or this, uh, this, uh, this uh, what do we call him? The Murfster. Where do, I, where do you think I met this guy? Great. I had to get on an, not in a bar, no. <laughs> I had to get on a plane. I had to go to an event. And I had to meet them, and as, as Bernadette said, in the halls and meet these people. And going up to Julie Tarr and introducing myself and introducing myself and, you know, and building the relationship. That's how it happens. It does not happen sitting in Orlando that I got, it just dawned on me when we were doing this call. I've met every single one of you, and then it hasn't been in Orlando. It has been by me getting out of my comfort zone, traveling to an event somewhere, and, and, and here's the thing, when you go to an event in your hometown and you sleep in your own bed, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you actually invest the money, it's absolutely proven that when you invest the money, when you go there, you're awake and you're not sitting in the breakfast, you know, till 1030, you're in the event at 859, ready with your notepad and you're doing everything you can because you've put that kind of airline ticket and that type of you know hotel and that type of investment in yourself. So you're really going to maximize it. So I'm just sitting here looking at this and going, okay, what do I want to share with these people? And that's the fact that I met these people, these wonderful people, by getting myself out of my hometown 
and going to an event. So that's what we really want to encourage you to do is to come. And the other, uh, the other thing on the breakout sessions is there will be time. There'll be intimate. There'll be an intimate relationship going on. Uh, so you you get to spend more time with your upline diamond and royal in the breakout sessions. You guys can get to know each other better. It's going to be about relationships, and it's going to be about products, and it's going to be about recognition. I can promise you that. Nice. I'm going. Okay. Let's do it. Well, it's not an expense. It's an investment, and the best business investment you can ever make is in your own business where you call the shots, not just hoping uh, something works out. Uh, so let's work on our own economy and uh, what uh, an improvement program we have. Let, let's do it. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Better bye, an investment bye. in your business than bye, a free Julie. girl. Bye. bye. See you there. I can't wait. Bye, guys. Bye, bye everyone. Thanks, Dave.